Welcome to IT and Automation Academy. For decades, the 4 to 20 milliampere current loop was the standard in industrial automation. This analog signal transmitted information between sensors, actuators and controllers. Its simplicity and reliability made it ideal for various applications, like monitoring temperature and pressure. The 4 to 20 milliampere standard was valued for its straightforwardness. A current range from 4 to 20 milliampere's represented different process values. For instance, 4 milliampere's could mean 0 psi, and 20 milliampere's could mean 100 psi. This linear relationship made signal interpretation and process control easy. 4 to 20 milliampere signals were resistant to electrical noise and voltage drops over long distances. This robustness ensured signal integrity in harsh environments. A break in the loop shown by zero milliampere's signaled a fault. This ease of troubleshooting made 4 to 20 milliampere dominant in an era focused on reliability. The 4 to 20 milliampere standard became a cornerstone of industrial automation. But with advancing technology, the industry is shifting towards digital protocols. The 21st century brought a digital revolution, rapidly changing industries and technologies. Industrial automation was part of this digital shift. New digital methods offered more bandwidth, richer data and better efficiency. The 4 to 20 MA signals limits became clear with these new methods. The demand for more data and faster communication grew. Digital methods met this demand. Unlike analog signals, digital methods send data in packets. This allows more information to be sent and received. Digital signals are less affected by noise, making them more reliable. The rise of IIoT sped up the move to digital methods. Connecting devices and systems depends on digital methods. A new era of industrial communication began, leading to smarter systems. As digital communication in industrial automation grew, several key protocols emerged. Ethernet IP, Profinet and Modbus TCP IP are leading the way. Ethernet IP is fast and widely compatible. Its open design and large user base make it popular. Profinet from Siemens is great for precise timing. Modbus TCP IP is easy to integrate with existing systems. These protocols have opened new possibilities. They enable advanced control, predictive maintenance and data analytics, boosting efficiency and innovation. Section 4. Bridging the gap between analog and digital. Moving from analog to digital systems like 4 to 20 milliampere to digital protocols can be tough. Industries use a hybrid approach, balancing old and new systems. New setups use digital protocols, while old systems keep the 4 to 20 milliampere technology. Gateways and converters help connect analog and digital signals. This method allows for gradual updates. It reduces disruptions and spreads out costs. This ensures a smooth transition, extending the life of current investments. Section 5. Challenges on the path to a digital future. Digital protocols have many benefits but also present challenges. Issues include legacy systems, cybersecurity and a lack of skilled workers. Upgrading old systems can be expensive and slow. Companies must balance the benefits of digitalization with the costs. More interconnected systems increase cybersecurity risks. Securing these networks is crucial as more devices come online. There's also a shortage of workers skilled in digital technologies. Investing in training is essential to bridge this skills gap. Section 6. The future of industrial automation. The shift to digital protocols is just the beginning. The future of industrial automation is bright as technology evolves. Digital protocols have many benefits, but 4 to 20 MA will still be used in some areas, especially where safety is key. The focus will be on integrating different protocols and systems smoothly. Edge computing, AI and machine learning will enable advanced analytics and autonomous operations. Innovation and collaboration will drive the evolution of industrial automation. The goal is to create smarter, more efficient industrial processes. This chapter looks at future advancements and innovations in the industry.